it's Friday. I had a lovely day as you guys saw and we are starting a weekend in my life in NYC. We're just gonna see where the weekend takes us. I have plans tonight and Sunday night so like the bookends of the weekend and then nothing in between. So I thought it'd be fun to just turn my camera on this weekend and see where the vlog takes us. Right now I'm getting ready for a girls night dinner. I love a Friday night dinner with girls. Like it's my favorite. It's the best. Um, so I'm trying on outfits and I actually, I, I don't know, I was drawing a blank, but I really wanted a cute outfit tonight. We're going to this place called The Tiger in Soho. I've been once before and it was so good. So I went on Pinterest, honestly, to just like take some inspo. So I saw this outfit. So this outfit, she's wearing very similar metallic jeans like I am. And then like a black crop top with a black blazer. Hence why I tried this on. Except it's cold out there, so I don't know. It might be an Uber night. But yeah, this is a black long sleeve. I like how it, like, does that. It has, like, a curve. And then this blazer is from La Academy off of Revolve. And then these jeans are a goldie. They're metallic jeans. Because I got them during the holidays, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm only going to wear them during the holidays. But why can't I wear this with some black booties? Like, why can't I? I should be able to. But I also have one more outfit that I want to try. So then I also loved this outfit. So she's got some leather pants on, blazer, and it looks like there's a leather situation going on under. So I attempted it, and I just, I have a very short torso, so I wish I had a more, I think I do have like more of a cropped leather top. I think I have like a cropped leather bralette that might look better just because of my short torso. And this definitely looks good. These are a little bit long. I'll be wearing booties. But I think I, like, really loved the first outfit. Like, what, if you guys are watching this live, I feel like you guys would agree. So we're going to do that. We're going to wear the metallic pants on this chilly Friday night in New York. Makeup is done. I'm wearing silver earrings or whatever. It's a silver night or glitzy night, whatever. I'm happy with this fit. I love it. I added some black pointed toe boots. Need to figure out which bag. Okay, first up, I have this Rebecca Minkoff bag. I really like it. It's like a little shoulder bag. Not bad. I don't know if I like the chain with this outfit for some reason. This is from Zara. I really, ooh, I like that. That's really cute. Or I have this bag from the brand Aqua, sold at Bloomingdale's. I think it's Bloomingdale's like brand. Ooh, that is really fun too. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I feel like I'm in between these two for this specific outfit. I also need it to be able to fit a lot. I think both of these will fit a lot. Oh my gosh, I have to go look in the mirror. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going with some friends that I feel like we may go out after, and if so, I wouldn't mind having something on my shoulder. But the real test is going to be if everything I want to fit in here will. All right, let's pack my going out bag. Okay, necessity, my wallet and keys. Oof, that already took up a lot of space. Lip balm and lipstick. Rut row. I really want to get an Instagram photo. I really like my outfit tonight. Flash would be fine, but I'm going to see if this like fits. I'm just feeling it's not. I mean, it fits, but okay. This is my new thing. So you guys know, I just like haven't found, like I love a vodka soda splash of crayon. Like I don't love, but I'll drink it. But I was reintroduced to Mio. I used to have this, the blueberry lemonade flavor. I w it's like a water enhancer, but... If I just order like a vodka soda and then put this in, it tastes so fire. And I hope it wouldn't make me too hungover because it's zero calories. Hopefully, I don't think there's any sugar. Just other, I mean, it's not good for you, but you know, alcohol isn't, so it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna bring this, I have to make sure the cap stays shut. If we go to the bar, I'm gonna be extra and pull this out. Okay, that's all fitting. However, I would have liked to put my comb in. And then obviously my phone. I hold my phone, but when I go to bars, honestly, sometimes I just want to like put my phone in my purse. Okay. Oh, it, okay. It's staying shut. We did it. We did it together. Um, yeah, I'm like, there's nothing I really would take out. I guess I could take out the lipstick. 
I don't know. Anyways, it all fits. Yay. Um, all right, we are going to head over. I'm gonna go to Delaney's apartment first. I haven't seen her in so long. The last time I saw her was the Super Bowl, so whatever that is. Um, but we're gonna, she was like, do you wanna come over to my apartment first and pregame and like hang? I was like, yeah. So I'm gonna go to her apartment and then we're going to this place, like I said, called The Tiger in Soho with our friends Harper and Kenzie. They both went to Georgia. Kenzie semi recently moved to Georgia and I, or to New York from Georgia and I actually haven't seen her since she moved here. So we're doing a girls night and then maybe meeting out with like Ryan and some of his friends after um, drinking kombucha. All right, let's go have a night. Guys, I'm at Delaney's. Hey. Look how cute it's coming along. She has a little tray. It's coming, slowly. It's so cute. And then I just look over here, you guys. What a moment this is. I'm obsessed. All right, here we are. We're both in our blazers and I'm not like dying of cold. Like it's cold, I mean, it's not that but it's doable. Oh, please enter through the versatile. <laughs> Okay, we're in 26 degree weather, and I was gonna call the Uber, and then we realized how close it was, and I felt extra. But I'm kinda wishing we did that Uber now. Cause Miss Harper trusts Apple Maps, and Google Maps is better, and we got out of the way. We're going to Spring Lounge. Clearly, I like that place. I was there last night. Whew, okay. an hour for the bagel but it was so worth it um i am so happy because delaney and i like we didn't have a plan but we were just like we're gonna hang out today like on saturday neither of us are big like day drinkers and some of our friends want to do that and i just like don't like i don't it's freezing outside like if it's warm outside and like the music's going like maybe but yeah so i called delaney and i was just trying to like trying to feel out her vibes and because I, I was outside because I got the big I was like it's so cold out here like I low-key just want to like sit on my couch and like I wanted to see her reaction she's like let's do it I'm coming over I was like oh my god <laughs> amazing and we decided that we were gonna have a twilight movie marathon because it's like a gloomy day it's not raining it actually snowed a little bit this morning but it's like a gloomy day and I'm gonna make it all cozy in here and we're gonna watch as many twilight in a row as we can I'm so excited. I haven't done something like this in so long, probably literally since I lived with her, if I'm being honest, because I'm really bad at watching movies, but when I'm with Delaney, she's so fun to watch with because she like knows everything about everything. Big movie gal, so I'm so pumped. This is my little outfit right now. I probably just won't change. Um, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of laundry. Since I'm gonna be here, I can just like do laundry. And I'm gonna make my bed and then get the vibes right. I'm so excited, that bagel was so good. I haven't had a bagel sandwich in so long, and that was fire flames. Guys, this is the PR package of my dreams, Sage Wellness. I was just thinking I should bring my essential oil diffuser that I have in my bedroom out here, because I really want like some spa-like scents in here, and it's hard to get that with a candle. I mean, no, it's not, but like, sir, I like an essential oil diffuser. Look. Guys, Sage Wellness is literally what I use all the time. It's my favorite essential oil. And they just sent me the Aroma Ohm. So I'm assuming it's a diffuser. The Roll-On Peppermint Halo, which is, I have this. It's really good for headaches. Energy, I've never tried. Instant pick-me-up. You guys know I love this shit. Stress release. I literally have this in my purse at all times. Fortify. This is good if you're feeling down, like down if you're feeling sick. And then oils for the diffuser. Liquid Sunshine, this smells so good. It's grapefruit, bergamot, and lime. Tranquility, that might be what I do right now. And then Rainforest, which I haven't smelled. Balsam fir, pine, and cedar wood. I need, I'm like so excited. I need to take a photo of this first because 
I am freaking out. Thank you, Sage. All right, we've got the diffuser going. I ended up doing this rainforest scent. It smells so good. I feel like it's what they diffuse in the stores. If they even have stores. They used to have one in New York and I loved it. Such a vibe. But Delaney's gonna be like, it smells like so many different things in here because I also, I lit both of those before I knew I got a diffuser in the mail. But like, I kind of love the vibe, especially if we're watching Twilight. So I'm gonna ask her when she walks in if there's too many scents. I love a scent. Scent overload for me, please. I also bought Mr. Clean. I've used it once before for like scuffs in my shower and Brooke had it as her favorite on our podcast, Gals on the Go. Um, and she said I could use them on my wall because I have all kinds of like wall scuffs. Like I have some over here too. And she said it works on paint, which I was really excited about. I also have some in my hallway. Like I see it there. So I'm going to give them a shot. Okay, Delaney will be here any minute. Apartment vibes are correct. I actually feel like I should close the curtains even more. Made my bed. What was I going to say? Oh, I literally loaded up my laundry and I realized I'm out of detergent. So that's going to be like a later today or tomorrow situation. You guys know I love to curate a vibe. So when Delaney walks in, I'm gonna be play. I found this on Spotify, the Twilight, like complete soundtrack starting with Christina Perry, A Thousand Years. When she walks in, I'm so drama. We have begun. I forgot to update Delaney's here. We're so cozy. We're on not episode one or episode one, basically. If you're wondering, we found Twilight on Apple TV and I bought the whole series for $30, but then I'll have them forever. But otherwise you have to have like Paramount Plus or something and I just don't. So $30 for all the movies of the Twilight Saga on iTunes. Okay, we paused to order Chick-fil-A. Very excited about it. Both. <laughs> we'll be here all night. That's true. <laughs> I just like forgot how kind of cringy Twilight is. Like Only in the first one, really. The rest are normal. Okay, I just like haven't watched it in so long, and it's so funny. Like, I think because like you were saying, there's been so many TikToks of like people making fun of specific scenes that I'm like remembering, um, and like the lighting in this one is so interesting. Like they make them all look so pale, um, but that's what it's all about: being a vampire. It's less cringy and more cute. Yes, no, I mean, I can't wait for New Moon. That's when I had my Jacob, like, coming of age moment. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. I New Moon, but I love New Moon. What? I love New Moon. It might be my favorite. Everyone, well, it's not good because Edward's not in it for a little bit. Oh, so. But the ending's really good. Fair enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this day is perfect. Now this day is perfect. <laughs> We just finished Twilight. All right, next stop, New Moon. Oh my God, ah, Jacob's resurgence. Go Stephanie Meyer, okay. Yum, finished the food. Delaney got the mac and cheese too, how fun. The coloring is way better in New Moon, I can confirm. Like it's not as blue like Delaney said, it just looks better. Guys, there's my car. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And Edward too. Starts was like, like what? The first time you see him. oh yeah in the theater and you're wearing your Twilight shirt and you're like there's Edward all right update it's finally vibey in here with the movies we just finished New Moon time for Eclipse here we go Delaney horizontal queen <laughs> all right Breaking Dawn part one how are we feeling over there <laughs> yay it's time for the seventh inning stretch. Take me out to the ball game. I have the hiccups. All right, we just finished Breaking Dawn Part One. What time is it? Number two. It's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. This one's an hour. every movie's been an hour fifty-five. This one's longer. Oh. Part two. We do she it. just opened her eyes and she's alive and she's a va vampire now. Sorry about the hiccups. She's not alive. Right. She's immortal as they would say. And just, uh, we just needed to get up for a second. I, I'm telling Delaney, I literally don't think I've ever done this. Like five movies in a row, that's a lot of movies. It's a lot. Feels like we just started the first one though, doesn't it? It, it really does. And the movies do get better each one, I feel. Yeah, totally like good. acting wise and like, it's just not as awkward. So. That's what you missed, honestly. 
It's time for popcorn. <laughs> it's like a crime scene here. <laughs> All of our stuff everywhere. We paused it for, to make popcorn and other necessities. <laughs> I don't know like what, but <laughs> just to make popcorn and pee, if I'm being honest, but. Mm. It's good to take breaks. It's good to take breaks. I was saying, I feel like I could just like dance right now. I, just, I have so much energy. Not really. Should we go out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not. Not. It feels so nice to be inside when it's so cold out too. I know. Like, cause when it was really cold a few weekends ago, and we decided that was our night to go out. I'm really Big happy. Mistake. Big mistake. Big <laughs> oh, mistake. I have tears streaming down my face. That's true love. <laughs> I mean. Oh. That was a journey. I definitely haven't seen that last movie, you guys. I read all of the books, but like literally when I was in fourth grade, and I definitely didn't see part two of Breaking Dawn. That wrecked me. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster. My face when Carlisle dies. My face when Carlisle dies. I was like, wait, what? And you were so silent, and this all makes more sense. <laughs> um, we have been just about watching for ten hours. We did the math. Um, so that's pretty great. It's a little sad, what time is it? It's 11.40. So yeah, just about 10 hours. Um, but I can truly say I've seen all of the movies now. <laughs> Got my good old refresher. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> morning so far I wrote down my goals for the day and I added some more after I vlogged it um, one of which is I want to start at a rigs <laughs> um, but I have laundry going I cooked myself a lovely breakfast for some reason Sundays are just for bacon like it just makes sense um, and right now one of my goals was to plan all my workouts and my meals for the week so I just planned all my workouts I'm working out every single day this week that's pretty crazy. I've been really into starting my days with a workout and it's so nice finding workouts that I enjoy, which is Pilates, bar classes at Equinox, stuff like that. I'm finally getting my mirror hung up on Tuesday, which I'm really excited about. It's from some random website actually. But if you look up organic shaped mirror, that's what that is. So yeah, um, so I did my workouts. Now I'm going to plan my meals for the week, just like generally. Like this week, I just have, I'm going to Delaney's for dinner. We're making dinner like we do together a lot. 
But other than that, I don't have any like dinners planned. Um, so I'll need to plan my groceries along with that. I might order groceries honestly from Whole Foods. Like I might plan all my meals right now and then order from Whole Foods and then any like lunch stuff too. I'm a big like eat dinner leftovers for lunch type of person. And then I'm gonna go to my local nail salon and get a neck massage. Um, I might start doing this every Sunday. I don't know why. The last few days I've been sleeping weird. Like I'm sleeping great, but I wake up and my neck hurts and then it like goes to my head and it's just tension. Um, so you can pay like $20 for a 10 minute massage and then I tip obviously too, but you just sit in the chair and you're in the nail salon and I love it. Like I just need them to do my neck and shoulders. So I'm gonna do a little maintenance. <laughs> Um, and then it's supposed to get sunny around 3 today, so I'm waiting to go. I decided I'm not going to work out today and just go for a walk along West Side Highway. Ryan wants to join as well, pending his work schedule. And then tonight, Ryan and I are going to Carbone! Finally, we're so excited. It's kind of like an early anniversary dinner for us. Our four-year anniversary is this Thursday, and Ryan was able to get a reservation for tonight, so we were like, we'll just... We'll, do, we'll still do something on Thursday because I'm crazy, but, you know, maybe like drinks, not like a full dinner. I don't really know, but I'm excited to do Carbone. It's so freaking hard to get into it. I've been once before for lunch um, and we sat inside, but I think our reservation tonight's in the patio, but like, I'm assuming they'll still make it a whole experience and we'll use the bathroom so we could go inside. So I'm excited. Ryan's really excited. And yeah, so this little Sunday night date night will be fun. But yeah, I just, I just cleaned my makeup brushes too, which I have not done that in so long, you guys. Like, it's actually gross. It's gross. So I finally did that, so that felt good. So we're just having a day. Hopefully this vlog inspires you to do the same. I'm gonna plan my meals now, and then we're gonna go get a neck massage. Here's my grocery order, if anyone's wondering. Some breakfast stuff I'm gonna attempt to make. Um, Overnight oats. I've never done that before, and I think that would be a great thing to eat before I go work out. This is my haul. This is what I'm wanting to make this week. Ground turkey tacos, chicken with, like, peppers and onion over cauliflower rice. Dinner at Delaney's, so she's getting the ingredients, but I think we're doing one pot pasta, TBT to college vlogs, and then grilled chicken caprese. It's like, or I might bake it, I'm not sure, but it's like chicken breast with tomato mozzarella on top, which sounds so good. My laundry's done. Lunch, I just wrote down because I have turkey burgers in my freezer just to remind myself. Um, and then this recipe I found for overnight oats. So yeah, feeling successful with that. Gonna place this order and I just made an appointment to go get like a little 20 minute neck massage. Massage felt amazing and the sun is out, which is always so exciting. Transferring my stuff from the washer to the dryer. Um, and then my least favorite part is when the first load's done and you have to start folding it. It's just this lovely bliss when everything's in washer or dryer, but then when you have to take the stuff out of the dryer so you can put more stuff in the dryer, that's when it's fun, because I do darks and lights. Um, one thing I've just gotten really a lot better at since just moving to New York in general is letting things air dry so they don't shrink. <laughs> Maybe I'm behind in the game, but... So for, like, the last year and a half, I've been really good about it. And one tip, especially if you live in the city and you don't have all this room, like, I usually would, like hang up everything on different chairs and stuff and it just makes my apartment look so much messier than it is so i have this step ladder that i had in my last apartment too i feel like a lot of people have step ladders like to get stuff in high places whatever so i double mine as like a drying rack like i know brooke has one like an actual drying rack which they're definitely a little bit better but step ladder also works and then i just i mean this will dry so quick this is like a bathing suit sarong that needed to be washed so i just kind of you know let it go, and then as things dry, I'll move them. <laughs> but this is my little setup here, and it works. And then I just hide it in my bedroom, so I don't see it. There you go. <laughs> my little hack that you probably already knew. Oh, now I need to do my lights. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, honestly, I think with my lights, I'm going to also wash. I wash this periodically. It's... um just a white bath mat and it gets like really dirty so I wash it whenever I'm doing my whites if I remember all right it's time for a hot girl walk on this fine Sunday while well, featuring Ryan um, I'm gonna meet up with him and we're gonna walk down the West Side Highway 
because the sun came out and being by the water when it's sunny out is amazing. Hopefully I'm going to be warming up and bringing my um, rechargeable hand warmers as well. Set is from Aloe. Jacket is from Revolve. You can actually make it a vest too. It's pretty cool. Lululemon. This is like what I always wear when I'm going for a walk. So I just have like my wallet and stuff in here. My funky Ray-Ban sunglasses. I love them. And I just got these. Hoka... Bondi, I think are the name of them. I got them on Free People and they had my size amazingly. So they're the comfiest, best walking shoes. They're super white right now because it's their first time out, but I'm so excited. Thank you. Okay, the walk was lovely. We stopped and got a snack and I'm still kind of full from the snack and I'm nervous because we were going to Carbone but I feel like as soon as I walk in there and I smell things, I'll be like, wait, I'm hungry again. Um, I came back, I folded laundry and watched some TV and we're about to head over to Carbone. I'll show you guys my outfit. It's not the best. Like, it's fine. It's just easy. You know what? It's cute. Nothing revolutionary, but it's just this black dress from Revolve. I wish the slit was just like a little lower because it's kind of cold out, but that's okay. Um, I thought I would dress up the outfit a little bit more with these two earrings, earrings, and <laughs> necklaces from Orium Collective. I really like how they look layered together. Um, I think it's just a nice statement since it's like a very open chest. My hair is still somehow trekking. It definitely needs to be washed tomorrow, but we're working with it. And then my boots are Vince Camuto. But yeah, this is the fit. And then I'm just gonna wear a jacket over top or a coat more so. I'm really excited to see what Ryan wears. I mean, probably like all black with like a nice coat or something if I had to guess. Um, Cause it's not like fancy. Like it's fancy, but it's more like trendy. I don't know, but. This is the fit. I feel like it's very easy for like a Sunday night dinner and again, like dressing up with the necklaces. I think, oh my gosh, I don't have earrings on. I knew something was missing. I feel like that's a lot. Yeah, we're gonna do the hoops and stay it. Earrings are these from my friend Maggie Villa Maria Jewelry. Her stuff is so good and I like the shape of these. They're really unique. Um, and they're the same gold as these necklaces because like there's white gold, yellow gold, all different types of tones. I mean, this is not real gold, but you know what I mean? I'm also back down to two piercings on each ear. My third piercing on both ears, like one got infected even though I was cleaning it and then the other one just fell out and I didn't realize until a couple days later and I couldn't get an earring back in. So we're back to square one. Well, I like having two piercings, but I really liked having the third. So. I don't know, where's your all's favorite place to get your ears pierced? Cause I wanna go somewhere that's like, has got my back, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, let's go to Carbo. Here we go. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back just like that. It was such a lovely experience. I am so full. We literally had to do a walk after because we were both like unwell, but it was so great. What I like about our Carbone experience was like, obviously so many people go to Carbone for the good, for the good food, but also like you kind of want to see a celebrity or you want to, you like the idea of it, you know, like I've seen paparazzi outside of Carbone before. Um, and our waiter was just so cool. He's like, oh yeah, like you might see this person, you might see that person. Like he was just, he brought it up. Like we we weren't like, so what celebrities are here tonight? You know, we didn't say anything. Cause we're like, I don't want to be weird and creepy. And he was just like, 
I don't know. They, everyone was very welcoming there. Like, even when we got to the hostess, they were in, like, you have a table. They were like, oh my god, love your hair. Like, we're going to take you to your table now. It was very nice and welcoming, which was really nice. And I have been one be once before, but it was, like, Carbone was popular. But I feel like I, I went September of 2021. And, like, last year, Carbone, like, really blew up. At least for me on social media. Like, it really went on TikTok. So, like, the first time I went, I wasn't like, oh, my God, like, I need to, I don't know. Like, this time I was really like, okay, let me see how I really like it. The spicy rigatoni truly is amazing. Um, the food is really good, but I'm not like, oh, my God. Like, I have definitely had equal or better than Italian, and I feel like a lot of people would agree with that. But the vibes, top notch. You feel so special. They bring you all these, like, free little appetizers. They brought us these cute little like cakes at the end to kind of cleanse the palate which I really appreciated because I love like I don't want a full dessert but I want like a little bite sometimes that was perfect so that was really really fun and again I just like loved our waiter and yeah I'm trying to think of what else but it was a really lovely evening we actually almost almost went to the comedy cellar but we were both like the thought of sitting any longer is like tough like I want to sit and laugh right now but, like, I literally am going to, like, walk around my apartment and, like, clean or something. Like, I need to, like, stand. <laughs> because we ate so much. We ate, like, nachos at, like, four. So, whatever. But, um... Oh, and... One of the reasons that we wanted to go... I got a matchbox. A carbon matchbox. It's pretty exciting stuff. They had it right when you walked in. If you guys didn't know. Ryan got me this for Christmas. Which is, like, the sweetest, most thoughtful thing because I was collecting them actually in that vase and it was starting to overflow. Um, so now I've just been collecting matchbooks from every restaurant I go to. So it's really nice if I look at one, I'm like, oh, that's Mandolin in Miami, Pasquale Jones or Hancock Street for brunch, Bar Premi, one of my favorites, um, Dirty French in Miami. Um, so there's some fun little stories with it. That one is like not a place it's just oh, that's where I had my birthday party my first year in New York City at Chloe 81 it's a good place to have birthday parties it's like easy they don't charge you it's awesome oh ooh, 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 ooh. I'm being dumb Danielle's being dumb okay hold on I can't be filming this put the carbone right in the middle there ta-da that's so exciting anywho I am going to end this vlog here it was a lovely weekend. I guess it didn't end up being this weekend where I did all these crazy things. But it was a really restful weekend, which I really liked. Like, I'm not going into tomorrow being dead. You know, I had a really fun Friday night, and then yesterday, obviously, Delaney and I chilled. And today, I feel like I got a lot done. Like, I cleaned my makeup brushes. Like, I feel it together. And that's not normally the case, and this is not me trying to make you guys feel bad about yourselves. But... I think sometimes I feel like I have to do all these crazy things on the weekends, especially living in New York. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to do all these things. But you know what? It was cold this weekend and not really sunny other than today. And I just like wasn't in the mood. And then today I was in the mood to go for a walk and do the things. And next weekend I have friends visiting, so we're going to be doing so much. So like, why put myself in a position I don't want to be when I could just be chilling in my apartment that I pay a lot of money for in rent, so might as well enjoy it. I love this creating a safe space for myself is really important. So anyways, I'm just feeling really grateful. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.